Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play You Don't Know Jack the Ride. Tweezers, actually. Not really. I use them for work. Hello. Work with tiny Ready electronic components. Right I need tweezers. How many of you are there? One? Well, let me be the first to congratulate you on winning this game. Thank you, thank you. Is thank this you. your first time on the ride? Nope. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't recognize you right away. My apologies. You should be typing in your name now. Aww. Hang on, folks. Just a second. Okay, just checking. Just checking, making sure we're still going. Why? Because we like you. If you feel like buzzing, use the letter B. I'm so sorry to say that our time together is finally over. Enjoy your ride. I'm sure you're just so sad that it's over. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack is sponsored by the Swiss Army Corps. Make knives, not war. And now, please welcome your host, Josh Schmitty Schmitzenstein. Hello there, welcome to the show. You seem like you've got a lot of pluck. Let's go. All right, we got this baby running like a fine Swiss watch. Let us ride. Buzz in and tell me how much the... Up next, the Swiss will give him a good franking. Here's the yeah. question. Let's suppose humorist Al Franken visits Switzerland. Considering his last name, what might the locals mistakenly want to do with him? Affix him to their knives, set his hands to the correct time, climb to the top of his head, or deposit him in a Zurich bank? Well, francs are at the end of currency. Franken are units of Swiss currency. I can't wait to read Al's book about the experience. Swiss bankers are big bad idiots. Probably not for what the title would be. Coming at you. What are you, some sort of Swissy? Okay, put on some eye protection and complete the following analogy. Switzerland is to Axis and Allies as water is to atoms and molecules, steam and ice, hydrogen and oxygen, or acids and alkalis. Switzerland is neither. Switzerland remained neutral in World War II, and on the pH scale of acids and alkalis, water is completely neutral. Of course, I'm talking pure water here, and while there may be pure water in Switzerland, the crap that comes out of my tap sure as hell ain't pure. I gotta run it through a tube sock before I can drink it. You should buy Brita filter. All right, buzz they in. Work. This one's called NFL Europe. Bad idea. Look no further, I don't here's think your it question. Ever caught on. Suppose an NFL team replaces their offensive line guards with Swiss guards, who are what might you assume is playing quarterback? A box of chocolates, a bicycle chain, a big bag of money, or the Pope? Swiss guard. Bicycle chain? Uh, no, that's a chain guard. <laughs> I don't know, it might have Here's been a fancy term pick. for chain guard. Those folks who protect the Pope are called Swiss guards. Really? Yeah, the Pope doesn't move around too well since his back injury, but he's very uplifting in the huddle. And he throws one a hell of a Hail Mary. Eh, yeah, saw that joke coming. Okay. Buzz in for the box, baby. Bingo. If you want cheese or chocolate, you have to squeeze a gland G L A N D G L A N D G L A N D Yum Latte Cappuccino. Welcome to Glam. Remember to hit your buzzer when the first letter of the answer lights up. That's how you win the cash. If you get all five letters, you win the bonus. Okay, come on. A blank cannot change his spots. Leopard. Wow. Did he just growl at me? Gets caught in the headlights. Deer. Have some dough, deer. Strippers cover 
with pasties. Nipples. Are you cold? It's more burlesque. Really. Gorilla. Like a gorilla. Gorilla. One more letter for the real cash. The blank sleeps the tonight. The blank sleeps tonight. You ain't lying. A. Naughty name for a donkey. The oh, ass. Nice ass. That's it. Bland. That's yours. Check out your score there, make sure everything's in order, and we're moving on. Hit that buzzer and grab the... Very nice, respectable. This one's called... I bet you didn't know chickens could do that. Fly? All right, pay attention. And I'm not kidding this time. A chicken farmer in Zurich runs out of schnapps, so he dispatches a chicken to Germany to get some more. The chicken travels north for six days and then east for three more until he hits the Rhine River. He crosses the Rhine and walks until he reaches a town called Schnitzel. He spends two days resting there, then sets out on a four-day hike to the west. He finally reaches a town called Strudel and gets what he came for. Now, I hope you kept track of all that because I want you to tell me... Why did the chicken cross the Rhine? To get schnitzel, to get schnapps, to get strudel, or to get sausage? The farmer sent the chicken out after some schnapps. And here I was trying to count the days. Schnapps. It's such a chick drink. Hey, now. Work that buzzer to choose the amount. This category is... Schnapps will knock you on your on ass. The French fries. Okay, a little secret for you. You know why I'm not a vegetarian? Because I love burgers too much! <laughs> I love Me too. Them. Really, really well done. I'm talking like charred and then slathered in melted Swiss. Ah, take me now. All right, now, I ordered a burger with Swiss cheese charred, but instead got a Swiss charred burger. What should I say to my waiter? Yeah, where'd this beet leaf come from? Chocolate on meat? Disgusting. Charred? If I wanted jelly on this, I'd have asked. Or nuts. Charred. Sounds like what they would call vegetables. Swiss chard is just the leafy bits of a particular type of beet. And if I don't get that meat burger quickly, somebody's gonna get a beating. I didn't climb my way to the top of the food chain. I want you to hit your vegetables. buzzer and get the value of the next question. That's a tall bank. All right, this category is nice. Is that your name or are you coughing? Yeah. All right, you think you know your psychology, right? Well. <laughs> I'm sorry. I gotta be honest. Um, this is supposed to be a question about archetypes and dreams and a bunch of Swiss psychologist crap. <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce the guy's name. Really? How do you say his name? Is it Yum. this way? Jung. This way? June. This way? Yoon. Or this way? Giraffe. One more time. This way? Jung. This way? June. This way? Yoon. Or this way? Giraffe. Oh, Jung. How very snotty. Or should I say, snooty? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hear he was a very close friend of Freud's. Or should I say, Freud's? Or fraud. Hit that buzzer and try to snag the that highest value works. you can. Very nice. You want some trouble, my friend? You got it. Let's get into a diss or dat. The category for this diss or dat is. They told me this was chocolate. Listen up, I'm gonna read off seven items here, and you're gonna tell me if it's a Swiss city or something you put in your mouth. Cash in for each one you get right. I can't put Swiss city in my mouth. For each one you get wrong or don't get to. I guess not. You got 30 seconds <laughs> to get all oh well. seven. There we go. Zurich city or something. You Basel. Nice job, soldier. You only missed one. Here's your current score. You feel good about that? Let's keep going. Clap your buzzer and we'll find out how much the next question's gonna be. Here's a little something I call... Little Debbie does math. All right, get your chubby little fingers ready and see if you can complete this analogy. Little Debbie's Swiss cake rolls is to cylinder as... Little Debbie zebra cakes is to hexagon. Little Debbie devil squares is to pentagon. Little Debbie brownies is to triangle. Or Little Debbie golden creams is to helix. 
Little Debbie zebra cakes have six sides of creamy love, making them hexagonal. Took me a second to remember Tomorrow's if they were lesson, or not. Twinkies and logarithms. Then I looked at the rest and realized Buzzer none of them were, this one. so, you know. Coming at you. Business class less. Okay, we all know that when a big convention's in town, the local red light area tends to turn a tidy profit. Now, mm -hmm. with that in mind, what shenanigans might you expect to see at the Geneva Convention? Scientists getting lap dances, filmmakers soliciting hookers, bankers visiting peep shows, or prisoners of war hiring strippers. The Geneva Convention is about POWs and like. The Geneva Conventions are internationally recognized wartime codes of conduct regarding soldiers and civilians, including treatment of prisoners of war. And if you ask me, after these soldiers risk their lives in service, they ought to be serviced. Buzz in and tell me how much the next question the category is going to be. Wow. It's their cross to bear. Hey, did you ever see the Swiss flag? It's red with a big white cross on it, right? All right, well, say Switzerland wants a flag that reflects its neutrality. If the new flag contains only neutral colors, what will it look like? A red cross on a white background, a white cross on a black background, a brown cross on a gray background, or a purple cross on an orange background. Gray is usually the most neutral of colors. Have you considered a career in marketing? <laughs> hey, if you got a minute, take a look at this. White, black, and gray are considered neutral colors. Hey, maybe they should just adopt the Jolly Roger as I've never considered flag. black to yeah, be that I mean, neutral. pirates are cool. Really? They raid ships and steal loot from religious groups that are oppressed in neighboring nations and then put it all into their secret bank accounts. And of course, the Swiss, well, they would never do anything like that, would they? Buzz in for the bus, baby. Up next. All this peace and stability is driving me crazy! Oh no! In a violent and unexpected reversal of foreign policy, Switzerland attacks somebody! Hey, it could happen. If Switzerland uses weapons from the last foreign war they were involved in, what will you see the Swiss Army doing on CNN? Firing cannons, fighting with bayonets, shooting off machine guns, or deploying nerve gas? I honestly don't know. Switzerland's last foreign war was in 1515, so they'd probably break out the cannonballs. But the modern Swiss Army knives come equipped with scissors, corkscrews, pliers, and a toothpick, so it's not like they're completely outmatched. Buzz in and lock on to the highest value you can. Ready for me to yodel your clue? Yeah, I bet you are. Just pay attention to this. Robinson ain't just a Swiss family. Hope you do well, or I'll be robbing son of your cash. I'm sorry. Good luck. Mr. Robinson's Neighborhood. Damn, that was it. <clears throat> Thank you for giving it back to me. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. was a lot easier than I thought it'd be. Yeah! Seven for seven! You really kicked your own ass there, didn't you? Good score. Not quite enough for the high score table, but hey. Still a good score. So anyway, take care, folks. Hey, it's I Shannon. will see you all I again later for more. Underneath that tree. Enjoy Where the commercials. The lucky one? Here at Aunt Shannon's Meat Pickers Farm, we grow only the freshest kinds of meat. Hey, Aunt Shannon, 
I just pulled this leg of lamb out of the dead pile. It's still got wool on it and everything. Looks like someone's getting a new pair of mittens and a full belly. Bring the family and spend the day. Aunt Shannon, I'm going to pick my dinner right out of the cow tank. Which one you going to eat? That one over there with the big rubber band around his horns. He's a big one. Come on down to Aunt Shannon's meat pickers farm right next door to the Agrichem lab. I hope to meet you soon. <laughs> How many times has this happened to you? Daddy, what's the difference between absolute and relative surplus value according to Marx? Uh, go play with this ball, honey. Middle class buffoon. Well, it won't happen again. Look what I have for you, sugar. The illustrated Das Kapital. Thanks, Daddy. You're welcome, sweetie. The brightly colored pictures help me understand the general law of capitalist accumulation. Uh -huh. And the pop-up stick figures tell me all about heterogeneous and serial manufacture. Yep. There's even a scratch and sniff chapter about machinery and modern industry. That's right, honey. Daddy, you're the greatest. Now, can you tell me how the expression of female sexuality can challenge the patriarchal order? <laughs> I love you, pumpkin. The Illustrated Das Kapital. Also available, the Gross Anatomy Book of Kano Dolls and the Kama Sutra playset. Yeah, can I get the steak without the meat? Sorry, sir, that's not possible. Ugh, where does a vegetarian have to go to get a decent meal around here? Come on down to Joe's Backyard for two acres of vegetarian delight. For only $9.99, I'll set you out to pasture, and that includes unlimited returns to my grass buffet. Now I don't have to stay home when my non-vegetarian friends go out to eat. I can even bring my dog. <laughs> Depending on the time of year, we've got four-leaf clovers, dandelions, daisies, crabgrass, and of course our most popular item, good old-fashioned grass. I'm a vegan, and I feel more comfortable knowing that my dinner wasn't cooked in the same pan as some helpless hunk of butter. I like not having to use utensils. It's so natural. Wow, look how green that grass is under Joe's lawn chair. My mouth is watering. Let's graze. Hey, Joe, why is it called Joe's Backyard? Because I'm Joe, and it's my backyard. Start eating me right. I need your whole heart, not just two percent. Oh, cow, I long for you every night. When you moved into our cottage, I said to myself, Hey, cheese, the one. You didn't have to milk it or egg me on. But our chances are skim to none Give me your true and utter love All else pales in comparison I need your true and utter love Don't you dare refuse me some Such a blast, cause I'm going on a fast with you. It'll be so great as we ignore our dinner plate of food. Get those fools that let the stomachs expand. If I wasn't so weak, I would take your hand in mine.
it'll be so great losing half my body weight with you it'll be so fun as my bony skeleton shows through you're the girl of my dreams cause you never eat someday they'll carry us to the justice of 